<laughs> hey guys, yeah, we're still here. Even though uh, we're here on YouTube, I am on vacation, staycation, if you will. But I told you I'd still be checking in and doing some uploads with you guys. Thanks for a couple of the text messages. Some folks said, hey, we're having some uh, Conti withdrawals on YouTube. Hey, cool. We just did one on Tuesday. But it's good to talk with you guys now. I want to give you a quick market update on C8. Talk about some rumors. I want to do a send-off, Pat, and share with you a couple crazy, nutty phone calls that I've been getting. People to ask me, hey Rick, what did you do on vacation? Well, I uh, came to the dealership and we shipped some Corvettes. <laughs> you know what? We've talked about this before too, how small the internet has made the world. Our driver, all right driver, you might see this car again because you live 30 miles from where this is being delivered, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, so the grocery store, gas station. He said, hey Ken, hey Carrie, how you doing? All right, guys, so welcome to the segment of the channel. I said that I would be accessible to these folks, even though they had paid for their cars, and I'm going to be on my staycation, per se. And yes, I am uh, I'm on vacation. I'm working my butt off at the house, man, I'll tell you what. But yes, even though I'm officially off work, that's right. Anytime, anywhere you see me, I'm wearing something Corvette. I mean, you cut me, baby. I'm bleeding Corvette. My blood is like, it's like the uh, alphabet soup. You just... <laughs> There's a C, ah, there's an O, an R, V, E, O, two T's, and another E. Hey! <laughs> Get away from them sticks. <laughs> Told you guys I'm on staycation. Ken and Carrie, congratulations. Thank you so much for watching the channel. Thanks for the business. I talked to his wife the other day, and she says, um, any, I, we've talked about this how many times, every time you sign the papers and you pay for the car, then you forget everything we talked about. <laughs> They're like, hey man, when's the car shipping? Uh, they're really excited, Ken. As I told you before, when we talked about the Hood Stingers, this is actually the car that was featured in that video. Uh, he is now a Ken Corvette. Congratulations, sir. Thanks again for the business. And before we load this, I've got to do a send-off pack. Ken and Carrie, Washington State. Thanks for the business from Columbus, Ohio. Petascala, officially. So here's your little send-off pack. Thanks again, you guys. Oh, is that where I got cut? Is that where the Corvette alphabet soup came out? Man? <laughs> very hot, very humid today. Can you can you see the sweat on the face? <laughs> I've only been out here five minutes. And yeah, I'd like to be here for the send off pad, but an extra set of eyes for these guys to make sure she's loaded properly and gets home safely to you guys. All right, so you saw me loading up the car for Ken and Carrie. Um, it's day two of my staycation filming this. You saw the video on Tuesday. My first day, I had a guy called three times, then text me, sorry to bother you, I know you're on vacation. My first one in three years. I have a C8 ordered with Blah Blah dealer since September 19th. Can you give me an idea if you think when my car is going to come in? So I'm sitting here. I had to turn the camera on. I don't even know if this will make the vlog. I vent with you guys. You guys are my sounding board. So I just get a call from the call center, which I emailed everybody. I'm on vacation, and yet they called me anyways in my office. Just happened to be here, which also gets transferred to my cell phone. So I emailed the guy back and said, hey man, I'm here, just got to load a car, I'm here for 30 minutes, sent a couple of emails, doing an upload, and then I'm out of here. Uh, so he tried to call me, obviously it was important what, what's going on, because you know I'm on vacation. Uh, but the guy has your cell phone number, he's gonna call you anyway. So, see the guy call from New York, call him, hey, sorry to bother you, I know you're on vacation, you know, I got a 2020 Corvette and I didn't get the high wing spoiler, and uh, my dealer said call you. My dealer said call you because I need the template to, to drill the holes for the thing. <laughs> so you can't blame the customer. So John, uh, if you're still watching the channel because you know I was pissed when you called, I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? Tell your dealer to... I'm not Chevrolet. It's called freaking Chevrolet, you calling me? I guess we're reaching more people than I realize, and including lazy Chevy dealers. <laughs> I thought I was done whining with you guys. Do I, anybody got any cheese and crackers to go with my wine, please? 
So yeah, that's some of the crazy nutty calls and text messages that I get on a daily basis regarding C8 Corvette. And as frustrating as they are sometimes, it's only because it distracts me from taking care of my customers and those dealers need to be taking care of their customers. One of the reasons we do a tracking page for you folks that have C8s ordered with us. And I have more information about the 2021 transition coming in just a bit, but I've told you before that the demand for this car far exceeds the production. Uh, eventually that will catch up, but that's going to be some time. So people are seeking for information and here we're the only dealership, also an enthusiast doing a Corvette only YouTube channel. So folks find us and they're like, hey, hey can you help me? Can you give me an answer? Give me an answer. And they just become endless conversations as soon as you start engaging in those. All right, let me give you an update on my customers. Uh, and, and thanks for sharing in the moment, guys. I do appreciate that. Got a couple more things coming up for you here in just a second. Uh, production is moving slow but sure, but congratulations to Ernie, a good past customer of ours. His C8 is built. I can't wait to see this. I'm a big fan of Elkhart Lake Blue with adrenaline red interior. Yes, uh, Vin, uh, let me glance over the screen here, sorry. 3203 for Ernie, and also in Ohio, is Ed right here in Columbus. He is getting Vin 3342, which will be our very first Zeus Bronze. Well, don't go nowhere. I came down here to see you. <laughs> see? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I come in on my staycation to come and see you, and that's how I get treated? All right, I'm leaving. I don't want to be any different. I'm leaving. I actually came down here because I woke up and I started smelling something, and I'm like, no, that's that's not eggs. That's exactly what you just said. He walked out. He's got a Corvette in here for service, and he walks out, and he goes, oh, oh, that's a C7R edition. <laughs> yeah. yeah, look at this, guys, and this is one of the rare ones. I don't know how many black ones they made. Uh, I think there was only a total of 80 convertibles made in 2016. This was to commemorate the Corvette Racing Edition, which we've got the Stingray R Edition coming for 2021. More on that as we get more information. But look at this, if you could see the kind of the ghost stripes that come through on the black, and they go through the convertible top. How oh, it's sewn in there. Isn't that neat, guys? Can you see that? And of course, we're talking about Corvette Racing, and you've got to have the Corvette Jake in there. And this is similar to what we talked about last Tuesday on our quick tip with the uh, with the Stinger stripes. When you go to ZR1, you have exposed carbon fiber, so you don't get a whole stripe. You just get that ghost of the Jake over top of that area for ZR1. But see, they started this back in 2016. Yeah, man, look at this thing. Yellow stripe wheels, Mr. Manual, yellow stitching. This is a hot car, man. Oh yeah, look at that. Man, I love these things. We did not have enough availability. And look at, you can see, if I move here, see, there's a little Jake right there. Get positioned right. Zoom in, you can see that special plate there, C7R. Talking about their wins, it's Corvette racing. This, just a special car. Yes, it's a 2016 Z06 convertible. With those extra touches though, special VIN sequence, this is a special car. This is the C7R. And Chuck's gonna do an oil change. The recent inventory piece there, Chuck's doing a PDI. So we get a car in from another dealership, even though it's new, you still treat it as if we had gotten it from the factory, is that correct? Correct. Go over and make sure all the LPOs, the accessories were put on it. Right. Uh, this one come in with the battery tray up, so obviously the battery been a little weak, so we <laughs> charge it, make sure, yeah. air the tires up, check the oil, just go over it front to back. You're still checking, um, I think you're still checking the uh, differentials too, aren't yes. you? Yeah. I mean, even though we didn't, we're past all that, but I think just for a safety it's precaution. Just have it now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, that's cool. All right, man. Well, anyways, uh, it's good to see you, and I'll be back in another week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm working my butt off at home. What do you mean, must be nice? Oh my gosh. Uh, I just had to come and see you, do some updates, and do this vlog for you guys today. Uh, but I will be anticipated back in the office full time um, on next Friday. Although my phone is still ringing. Um, questions I still can't answer. So <laughs> I'm just going to sit home. And Are you on vacation? I am. Whatever, man. My idea of vacation is going somewhere, man. I want to do some fishing. I like to 
have rented the cabin back in Tennessee or something like that and just kind of hang out. I mean, I know you like, you know, because you are Elvis number two, you like to just go to Vegas. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that last December when we were out there. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, thanks for joining us for this segment. Let's go back in the office and let's talk about some uh, rumors. Rumors on the C8 Corvette, that Z06, and we throw one out there too that nobody's talked about with the 2025 Zora edition. I mean, Haggerty talked about it a little bit. Let me just tell you something that I was told. Oh yeah, it's good to be back in here, my, my second home, away from home. Although I think I'm actually here more than I am at home, but regardless, it's great to be on the channel still with you guys. But it's early in the morning and I gotta get going. I gotta get the Home Depot, Lowe's, and all that kind of stuff. I got a bunch of crap to do at home. But real quick, let's talk about the rumors coming for C8 Corvette. That would be, everybody's talking about the 2022 Z06 Corvette. Now, when that's going to happen uh, is undetermined yet because I think they don't know exactly when they're gonna make that transition to 20 to 21. And when 21's gonna end, that will start 2022. So we'll keep you up to date and all that again as the flow continues to get more consistent. Then we'll have that data for you guys. But the Z06, they're talking about an LT6 5.5 flat plane crank motor. This thing is supposed to be awesome. 20 inch wheels in the front, 21 inches in the back, and because of the flat plane crank motor, it'll change the exhaust pitch to make it sound more like an exotic car if we already don't look like one as it is now. So McLaren, NSX, Porsche, Ferrari, you're in big trouble. <laughs> hey, it feels good to be on this side right here for Corvette, baby, absolutely. Haggerty did a post and we did a video talking about 2021 and beyond. There's a link down below in the description if you want to see that video. But they had talked about a Zora edition. I was hoping that there was going to be a Zora edition. So that's proposed for 2025 as a, a rumored all-wheel drive. And Haggerty had said a thousand horsepower. Well, that's funny. My intel says that's going to be a 1200 horsepower car. So what does that mean right now? It means absolutely nothing. Get some sleep, move on with life. <laughs> when it becomes really real, uh, we'll talk about it more. But I just wanted to throw that little nugget out there. And we've talked about this countless times. As Bowling Green Assembly is getting back and things are starting to roll, you'll see alterations in scheduling. And you'll start to see things actually get scheduled. Now that they're moving, knowing what they can do, what they can't do. Congratulations to Jim P. here in Ohio. His Accelerate Yellow C8 Corvette is scheduled for build on July 13th. Now, we did a video talking about estimated arrivals. I was able to dig into an eternal report to try and just try and give my guys and give a lot of you folks out there some, some idea when these cars will really start coming. And I said that Jim's car would probably, on the report I shared, would probably show up around July 25th. With a build week of July 13th, we're right on it again for you guys. Greg in California, you also are July 13th build week at 3300 status. And Kyler here in Ohio, the one we did the, the remote at Super Sport Pizza and Wings, his Rapid Blue car is going to be built on July 13th as well. Congratulations, guys. And all I can say is thanks again for just hanging in there, man. Have a great day, you guys. If I get the phone call that I'm expecting today, then we'll have a fun show for you on Sunday. And I'm not expected, as I mentioned with Chuck, to be back in the office full-time until next Friday. Thanks again for taking the time to watch. It's always good communicating with you guys. Appreciate all the great comments on the most recent video. I love hearing from you. Continue to thumbs up this video. Make those comments and subscribe if you haven't already.